Hello again, welcome to Fine Arts with Bessem. Um, today we'll be starting the background on our Pope Shenouda portrait here. And for that, I got me another brush. And I'm going to actually make it blue, the background. Okay, it's not gonna be consistent, so it's not gonna be one color but different shades of blue. You can choose any color you like for the background. Of course, you don't want too much detail once more. So I will just start by kind of letting it very loose, very brushy. Got some paint here on my paintbrush. And again, you wanna be very careful not to get it on your clothes. You can go dark, you can go light, but make sure you stay inconsistent. I'm going to dip it a little bit in the oil here, makes it more runny. And I'm going to keep going with that. Mineral spirits or odorless turpentine. And I'm actually not going to go all the way to the edge just because I want to be able to hold the, the, the portrait and move it without getting it on my hand. And again, some canvases you can go all the way to the end uh, if you have a handle. There's a, a bar down the center here. It's actually for support. You can actually just hold it from there. It's no problem. It's a very light uh, thing. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep going with that. Around the Pope's head, I will be applying more white. So, here. And it can be very, very, very brushy. Uh, it actually doesn't have to be blended at all. In fact, it's almost more interesting if it's uh, not blended. And again, you're not putting more detail. Okay. And feel free to just move it the way you like. With oil colors, each color dry has a has a different uh, drying time. So actually, the darker colors like blues and, and browns and things like that, they um, they dry a lot faster. And the lighter colors, the white, the yellows, the pinks, uh, they take a lot longer to actually dry. So you actually got to put a little bit less of the darker colors on your palette so you don't end up wasting it. I actually use the same palette for maybe... Keep turning it. see I kind of do want to keep it a little inconsistent because it keeps it interesting. Okay. You 
you don't have to use blue. You can use anything you want. Blue is my favorite color, so I tend to use it as much as I can. Whether it makes sense to or not. <laughs> So it's kind of giving it this um, almost crystallized look. Um, you can do anything, you can do twirls, designs, anything you please. I'm just going to continue here. And for inconsistency's sake, I'm actually going to go dark on the other side using the same brush. And it actually works quite well with uh, the hat, it doesn't blend in just because there's that little bit of uh, shine on the edge of the hat. So it actually, it's actually working with the very dark blue here and uh, it's not gonna blend in at all. Touch it in the orderless turpentine and keep applying it. And don't be afraid to actually touch the edge of your painting. Um, it's actually nice to uh, later on take a smaller brush with the same colors and just run it down the edges so it blends the whole picture together. It actually it, it looks a lot. Uh, uh, sort of like one element all together so that it's not cut and paste. And just like everything else uh, on the painting, the, uh, the background does not have to remain this way. You can always you can always go back and touch it up when it's a little more dry and ready for uh, touch-ups. Okay, a little bit of oil to drag this on. Starting to run out of the blue here, so I'm using a little more oil just to drag the blue. It actually keeps it on the canvas for a long time. But you don't want to over uh, stretch the color. What uh, it tends to do is uh, get a little lighter. Makes sense. Mm, maybe some more touches. of what I did on that side, a little lighter on the outside, going dark on the inside. Again, just giving it that uh, sort of strokey, brushy effect, which I tend to do in a lot of backgrounds and portraits. Oh, 
Okay, I think I'm satisfied with that. I'll just go back in there and touch the <clears throat> the edge of the hat there. Some blue one in there. I'm actually going to use another brush to uh, go in there and blend the two colors in together. Okay, it's a very fine brush. It just harmonizes the painting a little more. Okay, and again, feel free to turn. Turn. There we go. And I think voila. There we go. It's sort of this very inconsistent, brushy uh, effect. Uh, that's our session for today, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.